What's going on guys, Killer6 back with another Borderlands 3 video for you and today we're taking a look at my Frozane build. Now what is the Frozane build? It's going to be a cryo heavy build focusing on keeping your barrier and your drone up at all times, doing as much damage as possible at all times. And uh, yeah, let's dive into this, show you guys how I build this out and uh, let you guys see if you like it. All right, so first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put points in violent speed, violent momentum. Those two things synergize really well. Uh, as long as you, when you get a kill, uh, you're going to be moving fast. When you're moving fast, you're going to do extra gun damage. And yeah, so those two work really well together. Uh, our first augment, we're going to do winter's drone. This allows your drone to like fly around and freeze things for you. Um, we're going to put points here and points here. And then we're going to use bad dose that gives us radiation. Now, the reason we put points here and here, this allows our drone to drop grenades on people's faces. And that's pretty fun, uh, especially if you're rocking a hex, which has been supposedly nerfed into oblivion. But we're going to show you just how wrong that is. All right. Uh, up next, we got Deathfall is close. This one, all of Zane's kill skills gain increased effect and duration. Uh, we do have one point down here for good misfortune because of our class mod, which is right here. This is the ordered rabble rouser. It gives us plus four to synchronicity, plus one to good misfortune. We'll dive into what makes that important here in just a minute. All right. So next tree, um, this tree is your barrier tree. Now in this tree, you're going to want to put five points in one of these top three skills. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter where you put those points because none of these things are going to work with this build. So don't worry about anything in that top layer. All right, we're getting down here to the brain freeze though. Brain freeze, five out of five right there. That's going to give you a slowdown chance of 20% on enemies by hitting them with crits with your weapon. So as long as you're hitting them with crits, there's a chance that they're going to be slowed and then frozen. Now you're going to combine that with some freezy, freezy skills and some freezy, freezy weapons, and you're going to freezy, freezy some balls. All right. Next, we got stiff upper lip. This one is uh, whenever Zane is damaged, he gains damage resistance. We're going to go ahead and put a couple points there. We're going to put uh, the remainder of our points in the health regeneration uh, skill. And then we're going to put one point here, one point here, and we actually have to put a third point there. All right. Um, so right here again, this is a uh, damage resistance, 16% against that damage type, whether it be, you know, uh, bullets, fire, whatever. Uh, next, the, uh, the rise to the occasion, we put five out of five there to give us health regen. So you get up to 5% of max health per second. The lower your shield is, the higher the bonus. We're using the Rough Rider. The shield is zero capacity. So it thinks that the shield is always pretty damn low. So, yeah. Now, the reason I don't put a point here in confident competence is it does not work with the Rough Rider. And the reason it doesn't work with the Rough Rider is it says while Zane's shields are active, which the Rough Rider is technically active, uh, it increases gun damage and accuracy. This bonus is based on the amount of shields he has. The more percent full, the greater the bonus. The problem is it doesn't apparently see the Rough Rider as full. So it gives like very little to no bonus. So that's why we don't bother with that. Uh, we also don't bother with best serve cold. That is a freaking Nova, a cryo Nova that doesn't really do much work. So I just don't bother with that. Uh, we put one point in really expensive jacket that gives us a status effect duration uh, reduction of 50%. So if you're on fire, normally you're on fire like five, six seconds. This makes it so you're on fire for like two and a half, three seconds tops, right? So why not? It's one point and it's going to help you get down to this tree or this uh, tier of the tree, I should say. Uh, up next, we use one point in Futility Belt. Zane gains resistance to non-elemental damage. And on kill, after killing an enemy, all elemental damage that Zane takes is converted to non-elemental damage. The damage reduction is 15%. The duration is 15 seconds. Again, just needed to put a point somewhere. And uh, that's an, it's an okay skill. So we put a point there. Uh, let's cover our augments here. We're going to go ahead and make our barrier a dome. And I'll show you why in a second. And then we're going to do retaliation so that whenever we're near our barrier, and we're always going to be inside of it, we're going to be doing 10% gun damage. And the duration for that is three seconds. Now, the trick is you do have to be taking damage to your barrier. Your barrier is going to be taking damage almost all the time if you're playing solo. So... That shouldn't be an issue. All right. Down here, we're going to put a point into Calm, Cool, and Collected. This skill. Oh, 
Whenever Zane freezes an enemy, his shield begins to instantly recharge, which isn't important to us because the shield's already, already full. If the shield is already quote unquote full, he regenerates health for a few seconds. Guess what? We're going to be in that barrier all the time. Our, sh our health should very rarely get touched. If his health is already full, his action skill cooldowns and durations are immediately reset. And that's what we're here for. Health regeneration up to 3% max health per second. And the regeneration duration is 3 seconds. I'll show you all about how this works as we play. Just know that this is great. Uh, we also have refreshment here. Whenever Zane damages a frozen enemy with his weapon, he gains some of that damage back as health. So this is a nice lifesteal skill. We're going to... Go ahead and take that as well. All right, moving on to the final a bit of awesomeness. We're going to put five points in Synchronicity. We're going to put five points in Donnybrook. And then we got two points left over. You know what we're going to put that in? We're going to put that in Duct Tape Mod. Now, why Duct Tape Mod? This is going to give you an 8% chance to shoot a grenade when you're firing the first shot from your gun. Now, the problem with this... <laughs> is the first shot from your gun normally is a problem on most guns because you're going to shoot and then it's going to be a little bit and then you're going to reload and then you're going to shoot but with the lucian's call critical hits return two bullets to your magazine and ricochet two bullets at the nearest enemy so if you're accurate with this thing you can constantly have your magazine full so could be pretty nice all right, so that's the that's the build that I'm going to rock with. You can put this two points elsewhere if you like. I just want to try and get as many uh, hexes on the field as possible, and that's why I do that. If you wanted to, you could put it here in Salvation or put it in Cool Hand to get your reload speed up. Uh, we, we're not going to be doing a whole lot of reloading, though, so that's why I don't bother with that. Um, you could put it here in Nerves of Steel, but this is just for accuracy and handling. The longer his shield is full, the greater the bonus, so it doesn't really help. So yeah, that's why I say just go ahead and put in a duct tape mod because this skill won't help you because you're not going to be using the digit clone and this skill won't help you because you're not using the digit clone. Uh, this skill won't help you because you don't really need that much magazine size with the weapons that we're using and this won't really do much for you either. So that's why I say go with duct tape mod. At least you have a chance for some more hexes to, to be popping out and doing more work for you. All right, in terms of the weapons, we've got a few different options for you here. Uh, you can use the Crossroads, you can use the Nighthawken, you can use the Chaos, you can use the Butcher. Butcher has been, they they said that the, the Butcher has been nerfed. It still works exactly as it did. It's just not quite as strong. And that's good because it was ridiculous. Like, I mean, it's still ridiculous in the hands of Moe's who regens ammo all the time. But, the, yeah, it's it's really good still. Yeah, don't worry about it, guys. All right, we got the Maggie. We got the Brainstormer if you want to rock some uh, shield stripping. We got a Hellwalker that while your Sentinel is active, 50% of your damage uh, is cryo damage with that. Queen's Call, if you want to use that to shoot people in the head, we got a Hazardous Sellout. This is for applying a status effect to yourself like Fire or Corrosive. Uh, and then if you uh, swap to the Elemental Projector, and you shoot yourself with fire, you set yourself on fire, you're going to do 90% extra fire damage, for example. Or if you catch yourself on... If you get yourself corroded, you're going to do 90% extra corrosion damage. If you're shocked, you're going to do 90% extra shock damage, etc., etc. Um, but yeah, right now what we're rocking is the uh, Icebreaker Splatter Gun. This gives us some cryo efficiency bonus by 50%. And some bonus damage versus frozen of 35%. Uh, you do also get 50% shotgun damage while sliding. I don't really use that. Uh, I'm here for that max health bonus, that mag size, and that ignite chance, uh, which we will use um, very rarely uh, with these weapons. Uh, but I wanted to, basically, the only reason I got the cutsman on is just to show you that it's not dead, because a lot of people were worried about that. Uh, but the Becca is one of my, my go tos. Um, but mostly you're going to be using these two guns right here. Uh, I also included, if you want to mess with it, I also included a cryo infinity pistol and one of my favorite weapons in the game, the bone shredder. This thing is very good, uh, at getting your freeze on, but so is the, uh, infinity pistol. Now the infinity pistol, you want to treat it almost like a shotgun. You want to get right up into people's faces because the, uh, the firing pattern on this thing is the shape of an infinity symbol. Don't know how well you can see that with the uh, the cryo effects 
This, you know, it's kind of making a figure eight on its side. That's the infinity symbol, obviously. So you want to be as close as possible so you mitigate how much spread you got with those shots. Again, the Crossroads is amazing still yet. A lot of people were worried that that thing got uh, nerfed into oblivion. E this one, you also still want to kind of treat it like a shotgun. I mean, this one has better range than the infinity uh, and the, the cryo efficiency is really good. Um, so yeah, but Lucian's Call and Crossroads, those are going to be your go-to items. Uh, again, I've got the Becca on. This is for some range. Uh, while your barrier is active, you get increased um, uh, accuracy and crit damage by 30%. Got my Cutsman on to rip shields if I want to do that. Uh, if I'm going up against badasses that have armor, then I'm going to swap to my Phasor, and that's going to destroy their armor bar real quick. Um, I've also got a uh, Fire Illusions call on this build if you want to use that. Um, to do work against like if you run into uh, an enemy that's resistant to cryo like an anointed for example switch to this switch to this uh, Lucian's call and handle them uh, we've also got a laser exploder this thing is extremely cryo efficient as well uh, basically everything in this build is going to be all about uh, about you know making this build as nice as possible there's some other shields in here if you want to mess around with those including the uh, the new Dastardly Maggie with this build, in case you want to play with that, because it's new and improved, and it's very good now. Uh, we got an Alchemist, and the Alchemist uh, does fire damage, but while my Sentinel is active, I gain 50% of my damage as bonus cryo damage. So again, doing some more cryo work. So yeah, that's uh, that's what's up with this, man. And uh, of course, we got a Fire Lyuda, non-elemental Lyuda in there if you want to mess around with some Lyuda stuff. And also a Nuclear Jericho, which just got a, uh, a buff. We got a It's Piss Grenade, uh, great for bosses um, that, you know, your drone's going to be flying around. I had a skin that I forgot to use. <laughs> and yeah, that's the, that's, that's the build in the nutshell. So let's, uh, let's go to Athena's and show you how this thing works in practice we're going to take whatever random um, mayhem modifiers we get so as you can see right now um, we're on mayhem 3 you get no mayhem modifiers until you load in down into a zone so i don't even know what's going to be in case you guys are worried about that like oh he saved and quit until he got the modifiers he wanted nah i, I don't i don't really care with this build it doesn't really matter <laughs> now saying that if i spawn in and the uh the modifiers are like negative 70 percent cryo damage yeah, that might, that might put a damper on things. So what do we get? Uh, negative 50% assault rifle and sniper rifle damage, plus 50% pistols, SMGs, and shotgun damage. Enemies take 50% less damage from shock, 50% less damage from radiation. Enemies gain 20% weapon fire rate. Those are those are great. Those are fine. Uh, again, the Lucian's Call is an assault rifle, so it'll uh, see some damage drop off from this. Uh, if you get those kind of modifiers and you don't want to use the Lucian's Call, then you know throw on the Infinity Pistol for this build or whatever. I don't know. Uh, but we're going to mostly be using the uh, the crossroads here. I still want to show you guys the uh, the cutsman so you guys know that it's not dead. <laughs> we'll, we'll mess around with that a little bit too so you guys can see that. Uh, a lot of people uh, instantly rush to judgment with the nerfs. And I know that it's scary when you see on paper like negative 70% uh, like damage reduction to like the, uh, the hex for example and the firestorm. But I always encourage people instead of just rushing to judgment try it out and see if it if it sucks before you <laughs> before you get too crazy with it you know um but yeah so as you can see the uh, the hex is already freezing people for me keeping my action skills uh, up and running um this this build is obviously exceptional for mobbing let's throw on the infinity pistol so you can see what how that works here too because uh, i feel like a lot of people might want to see that so the Infinity Pistol, as long as you're on target, you're going to freeze people pretty consistently, which means your action skill is going to stay up pretty consistently. Uh, as you can see, the two yellow bars down at the bottom of the screen, that's my uh, my drone and my shield. And you see, every time I freeze somebody, I get them fully recharged. Now, if they do go down, I need to start playing smarter, take some more cover, and you know get away from these guys and let, the, let my action skills come back. Um, and wow, as you see, cryo versus the, uh, the shielded dudes, it doesn't really, you don't really need to switch to your phase or, uh, cryo versus the shields is going to do some serious damage. Um, but yeah, that's, <laughs> that's the gist of this build guys. You're constantly staying in this bubble. Check out this bubble. This bubble is a 360 barrier. So splash damage, elemental damage on the ground, uh, bullets, whatever. You are constantly inside of this. So you're constantly safe from them um now if we can get these frostbite heavies check this out even though he's resisting the cryo 
Let's go and freeze this guy so we keep our action skill up. There we go. Uh, even though he's resisting the cryo, he's still taking pretty good damage from this build, which is crazy, man. That's just crazy. But obviously, uh, when you run into somebody like that, swap over to your Becca and melt the hell out of him, dude. And let's show you the cutsman here real quick so you guys can see this. Dude's dead. Dude's dead. That's all there is to it. This build is a lot of fun. Uh, I highly encourage you guys to, if you want to, you can download my save file. I'll put it down in the uh, description below. Uh, only going to work on PC. What you would want to do is make sure it's a different save file number than any of the save files that you have in your folder. It just goes into documents, my games, Borderlands 3, saved, save games, and then there'd be like a crazy letters and numbers extension thing. Uh, you go into that folder and you should see your saves in there. Just make sure that my save number does not overwrite one of yours and then you'll be fine. You can drop this in and then you should be able to just play the character. It'll have all the gear that you see here. Uh, it'll have the, the skill tree already set up uh, the way I've got it. Uh, it will not have the uh, the guardian rank. That's uh, attached to your profile. So, And it also will not have my bank storage. So anything in my bank, you will not see that stuff. You'll just get the stuff that's on this character. But yeah, that's the build, guys. This thing is uh, its a lot of fun. Uh, obviously, it's great for mobbing. Uh, not the best build for uh, for doing work against bosses. Like, let's go to uh, everybody's favorite firing range dummy. <laughs> everybody's favorite firing range dummy, Mr. Gravy. And uh, we're going to put on the Lyuda and show you guys that Zane can still do damage versus this guy, too, if, if that's what people are concerned about. Uh, the modifiers, uh, to do corrosive cryo, uh, elemental damage is boosted by 70% on this one. Enemies have a 30% chance to reflect bullets. Zane laughs at your bullet reflection. This cryo Zane, this fro Zane build laughs, laughs at your freaking bullet reflection, sir. Uh, let's see how good my accuracy can be right here. Yeah, as you can see, uh, there's one clip. And <laughs> did I just bounce that ball off my face? And there's your second clip and he's dead. So it's not, not, you know, not the end of the world with these quote unquote nerfs, gentlemen. Just be smarter with your builds. Easy peasy. And damn, holy crap, dude. Four legendaries with that. <laughs> That's the build. That's how it works. You can see that it's still just fine for killing, you know, dude McDude face over here. It's great for mobbing. Uh, it's great for like the uh, the slaughter shaft. It's great for the slaughter star. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hit subscribe. I will see you guys in the next one. Y'all have a great day.